Hello everyone. I uh, back again. This time I'm going to spend some time uh, talking about uh, one of my favorite lenses and also one of my very best buys on eBay. Uh, I, I took you through and we talked about the uh, uh, the 28300, and I mentioned it's not as sharp as a um, the night as Nikon's. Uh, f2.8 300 millimeter um, but that lens is very expensive um, but uh, there, there's a story behind uh, the evolution of that lens in 1977 uh, Nikon introduced it for the very first time as a, uh, the, the fastest super telephoto lens made and it was the go-to lens for um, news reporters uh, uh, National Geographic wildlife photographers they finally had a, a lens that went down to, to uh, f2.8 and um, was extremely sharp now it was a fully manual lens um, meaning that you manually set the aperture and you manually set the uh, the, the focus um, and if you go back into the 70s and, and 80s and look at some of those uh, photos and National Geographic and stuff that were taken with uh, flying birds and everything else these guys were truly uh, amazing professionals that learned the art of using a manual lens a super telephoto lens that they hadn't had the opportunity to use before um, to uh, um, so to take me up to where I was going with this the uh, um, I wanted that lens but it's a uh, new it's it's in the five thousand dollar mark uh, probably a little bit over maybe a little bit under depending on you know uh, where you get it used in the autofocus you know you can you may be able to find a decent one for uh, you know two thousand three thousand four thousand um, dollars but what uh, the ones that I end up buying was a uh, an AIS version and remember I when I was uh, selling you on the 7200 which I'm actually recording this video on right now um, I told you they could use every lens that Nikon has made since 1977 now I had I bought one of the older versions and I have no idea what year it was made uh, but it was sometime after 1977 and sometime before uh, 19 you know, probably 88 um, so I, I have one of the newer versions of it and um, the gentleman that was advertising on eBay uh, said he had no way of testing the lens to see if it was any good he bought it um, so he said in a um, estate sale and it, it, he had pictures of it on, uh, on eBay and this was the picture of the uh, this, is, this is the carrying case that it came in and as you can see, it's in it's in pretty pretty rough shape. Um, she's she's coming apart. Um, the inside uh, isn't isn't much better. She's in pretty rough side, state. But uh, I was interested in the lens, and I I was like, you know, do I take my chance? Nobody was bidding on this lens, and uh, so I took a chance, and I figured, you know, I'm either going to be out the money, or you know, I'll be satisfied with the amount I spent or uh, I'll be just as happy as can be when I got it it had no lens cover um, on it so um, it was just it was sitting in the case uh, right to the bottom no lens cover uh, was available for it or anything but um, I paid I'm gonna I'm gonna guess uh, somewhere around four hundred and fifty dollars and I got home. I got home and it came. And uh, this is the lens right here. And this thing is flawless. Absolutely flawless. Uh, for as old as it is, it is in immaculate shape. Uh, absolutely. I would grade it uh, four or five out of five, um, especially for its age. And you can see on the, the the tripod mount here that there's uh, hardly any use on there. I mean, it's not it's not warm. 
usually when you get these lenses um, there's all kinds of scrapes and dings on the, the, the lens hood um, the contacts where where or not the contacts but where it mounts to the um, to the camera though that area is is heavily worn um, you can see all kinds of scratching and, and wear on it this one barely has any it's absolutely fabulous but as I said when I when I got it it didn't have a lens cover and I was trying to figure out what to do what in the world am I gonna do about a lens cover I need a lens cover for this thing well why not a shower cap and I'm like wow um, that's a pretty easy fix so I got a shower cap that's cloth lined on the inside and a protective coating on the outside and uh, that's what I use for a lens cover and it's done a great job I've had this lens I think uh, two maybe three years now and it just this lens is amazing and one of the things that uh, I also bought was a uh, was teleconverters but uh, the TC 20 and the TC uh, 301 now the TC 20 was made for a whole bunch of lenses up to the 300 um, and the 301 was designed specifically for for the lenses of the 300 millimeter or longer and it actually um, the teleconverter goes inside the little the lens a ways um, to to help well that would turn this into um, a 600 millimeter uh, lens um, which it still shot amazingly but when you put the 2x converter on it it will magnify any flaw that happens to be in the lens um, because that's what it's doing it's magnifying it two times what it actually is so any defect that is in the lens will show up um, because it's getting magnified to even worse of a uh, of a defect than what it originally was that you may not have seen so the first thing I did when I got this lens is I went out on a tripod focused on a daffodil filled the, the lens with a with a daffodil and uh, took the camera uh, took a picture took the camera off put the 2x teleconverter on and took a picture again now that what was really cool about those 2x teleconverters is I could stack them now when you stack them your image is definitely gonna get softer so putting a 2x on top of the 300 m did make the image softer it's not as sharp as what it would be uh, just at 300 you stack two of them, them together and now you've got um, yeah like a 900 millimeter lens so now I've magnified the defects in the lens twice so they're four times larger than what they normally are. I should be able to see something if there's a defect. So I took the took the uh, uh, the images in, loaded them up on the computer, zoomed in 100%, and went all over that image. And guess what I found? Absolutely nothing. The lens is mint. Absolutely mint. The best deal I have ever gotten on an entire lens a couple months ago I actually was considered about uh, considering uh, selling this now the one of the main reasons I keep this is this is an excellent portrait headshot um, lens I mean it's all right for wildlife and stuff but you know it's manual focus but it is absolutely superb for portrait headshots and doing portraits and I, I, I would like to do some uh, portrait work with uh, some of my neighbors and, and friends and, and give them an opportunity to have some high quality uh, portrait work. Um, I have no intentions of going into portraits um, because I'm more of an outdoor person and uh, I'd rather deal with animals and, and mother nature than people. But I, I thought about selling it and um, which I, you know, if I sold this lens, I wouldn't I'd, I'd sell it probably in the in the thousand dollar range because it is immaculate even though the case is in is in rough shape and it doesn't have a lens cover th those things don't count as much as how good the lens is what the quality and shape the lens is in and this is spectacular 
I, I watched, uh, I did some research and I, I found a YouTube video and uh, the guy um, on there was uh, really uh, informative on all the different versions of the of the 300 F2. And one of the points he pointed out is that the glass never got any better. The glass is still, optically, they're the same uh, today as they were when they first came out. The difference is the durability. Uh, the newer lenses got all kinds of electronics and functions in them and, and this, that, and the other thing. And, and um, it's easier to damage one of those than it is to damage this one as far as, you know, the internal workings of it. So I decided, you know, you know what? I'm not getting rid of it. Um, this one will probably be in uh, my estate auction um, when I move on. Well, thank you for taking the time uh, for watching this, and um, I'm going to uh, go through and show you some of the images that were taken with this lens. Um, they are, uh, they, 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 it is an amazing lens. Again, that's the uh, Nikon uh, 300 f2.8 AIS lens, manual lens. One thing I did forgot to t forget to tell you is that the filter, the UV filter, is a removable filter. It goes internally, and you can actually put um, a polarizer or neutral density filter or what, whatever you want to do on the in, uh, internally on that. Um, and it came with a um, a second holder that holds the film. Um, uh, gels you can put gels in it and uh, insert that for right now this is a wrinkled up uh, ND filter that's that's in there um, which of course I'm not using because it's all wrinkled up but um, it did come with a with a the second insert um, the filter holder um, make sure you uh, like subscribe and share um, buttons are right down there and um, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, watch this video feel free to share it with your friends in fact I'd appreciate it if you'd share it with your friends and uh, thanks again for uh, joining us